Hello, and in this Eclipse tip, what I'm going to be showing you is a fairly basic refactoring, something that I use an awful lot though when I'm working on the open source project I work on, Apache Isis. So what we have here is we have, um, I've opened up a, a, a class called bookmarked pages panel. It's the thing in Isis that um, does, does this thing here, the, the list of, um, of, of bookmarks that you can click upon and, and go in and, and change and it sort of updates and so forth. So it's, it's that thing there. But anyway, that's that's what the application is doing. What I want to show you is the extract local variable uh, refactoring and its corollary, the inline variable. So supposing I was trying to figure out some kind of problem in this class and I've got a suspicion that this this is the problem here. So what I'm actually doing in fact uh, to highlight this is uh, it's uh, alt and uh, shift and uh, up arrow to increase the scope and then alt shift and down arrow to decrease the scope so anyway this is the, the block that I'm interested in and I'd like to look at that um, and if I'm in a debug mode I probably want to do that by looking at the variable so if I go to the refactor menu you can see we have extract local variable or alt shift L if you like that kind of thing and uh, we can pull that out and um, give the thing a name and so there we are, we could then set up a breakpoint and then look at the value of that nice and easily. All right, so that's that's what that uh, refactoring is. And if I want to go back the other way, if I go and highlight or click on either of these two things, not empty here or not empty here, the declaration or the reference to that variable, and I go to refactor and inline, I can then inline that variable and I'll get back to where I started. So putting that together, I've highlighted block of code, and I want to pull it out, and I want to inline it again. And that's a really useful little refactoring. I use that an awful lot, I have to say. So, so there we are. Um, another uh, thing you can do with this is save yourself some typing. If I take, for example, get model, okay, it's a reference something, and it's got a thing here, get object, that's going to return a list of page parameters. That's a bit of a mouthful to type as a declaration of variables. Supposing I needed this thing, what I would tend to do is um, highlight the thing and then pull it out again, and that's going to save me writing out all of that kind of clobber there. Okay, so let's just do that one again. That's supposing we've got some thing we want to find. I'm just going to write it there, put this in a colon, going to highlight the beginning of the line and the same refactoring, and I've got myself my object that I can do whatever it, whatever it is I need to do with that. Okay, so there we are, that's a little um, Eclipse tip, which was the refactor extract local variable and its corollary refactor inline. Thanks for watching.